episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and today I'm talking about Sacrificing Virgins by John Everson. This is from Sam Hain Publishing. Uh, this came out not too long ago, at least not too long from the time I'm recording this video. Uh, and Sacrificing Virgins is a short story collection. Um, so no... No, in a nutshell for this one, uh, I'm just going to have to talk about uh, some of the short stories, I guess. It's weird for me just kind of reviewing a short story collection. I do like that cover. Uh, so John Everson uh, is a Bram Stoker Award winner, and uh, I've read most of his novels, and... Uh, quite a few of his short stories. Some of the stories in here I have read before uh, in the places where they were originally published. Um, and as with most collections, this is a mixed bag of stories. Uh, they range from incredibly short to not quite novella length, I don't think. I don't think anything's really that long. Um, there are stories that are funny, stories that are, um, uh, violently graphic, stories that are sexually graphic, stories that are very sad, um, again, a mixed bag of all sorts of things. Uh, there, there's one story in particular called The Eyes that, um, interesting, I just happened to be doing that when I said The Eyes, um, uh, for me, this story really <laughs> illustrates how important context can be sometimes. Because um, if you just read the story, which I enjoyed up until the end, at which point I went, oh, really? Really? That's the ending? But then I remembered that in, th in the introduction, uh, Mr. Everson mentioned that this was a story he had written for a gross-out contest, uh, which is something they have at the uh, World Horror Convention, I believe it is. Um, maybe the Stoker Awards. I don't know. One of those things. They have a gross-out contest, and people get up and they read their grossest stories. Uh, and suddenly, because I remember this was simply a story he had written for the gross-out contest, that ending wasn't quite as groan-worthy um, yeah, if this was something that, and, and, and really does make a difference, if this was something that had been written as part of, uh, an anthology collection or was in a magazine or something, and it was just the story, I'd really just be rolling my eyes at that ending, no pun intended, um, but because it was part of the gross out contest, that makes a difference, um, to me anyway. Uh, it, 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 I, I, I cut it a little slack, I guess. N again, not that it's a bad story. I really enjoy the story itself. Um, it's just that ending. Just, oh, really? <laughs> uh, the title story, Sacrificing Virgins, was also uh, written for the Gross Out Contest. Um, it didn't have the same effect. I didn't have to remember that to enjoy the story. Um because it didn't have that that ending type of it, that uh, really kind of ending. Um, but both enjoyable stories. Uh, I think my favorite story was one called I Love Her. And it's really difficult to say anything about this without giving it away. Um, it's... It's about a guy that loves something. And, wow, how do I... I think you really need to read this one to get the, the full impact of the story. Um, I, I... You know, does it say anything on the back? I don't know. Um... <laughs> Hard to describe. Hard to describe without really giving away what it is, and and especially with short stories, it's a little more. It's it's easier to talk about 
a novella or a novel because there's so much material you can talk about little bits without giving it away. But with a short story, every little thing is so important that to talk about it can give away. It's, it's, it's about a guy that loves something as if it were a woman. And the relationship that they have and where that leads, um, I guess. I don't know how else to... I really don't want to give it away. You, this, Just for this story alone, um, I would say read this book. I Something about it. Just I loved this story. Um, some of the stories tie in with... Uh, some of Mr. Everson's novels. You have Field of Flesh, which ties in with his novel Nightwear. Uh, Nightmare, Nightwear, excuse me, is a bondage club that moves from place to place to place. I have the novel. I have not read it yet. It's one of the many, many books I have that I just haven't had a chance to read yet. Um, so I don't think this necessarily ties in really specifically with the novel. I just think it, it ties in because it takes place at Nightwear. I could be completely wrong about that, but that's the feeling I got. I don't think you need to have read the book to read this story. Um, and it is a, a bondage club, so it's there's uh, graphic sex scenes and some violence and things. Um, that was a pretty good story. Uh, the Pumpkin Man coincidentally ties in with his novel the pumpkin man um just a little a little glimpse of what was hinted at talked about a little bit in the pumpkin man i, I don't yeah yeah it's just uh you know if, if you read the novel the pumpkin man i'm gonna obviously say the pumpkin man a lot uh but if you read that novel you learn the history of the pumpkin man but the story the main story takes place after the events of the life of the pumpkin man this story takes place during the life of the pumpkin man pumpkin man um so anyway so that ties in then there's um a story that i'm not going to say the title to because i don't want to mispronounce the character's name uh but it ties in with his novel siren um, which is about uh, the mythical, a mythical siren. Um, you know, the, the women, possibly mermaids, that lure men to their deaths with their siren song. Um, so this short story features the siren from the novel Siren. Uh, so it's just a little snippet from her life, I guess. Um... So, I think those are the three that tie in with his novels. Um, let's see. I'm looking. I wrote down some of the titles here. Uh, there's a story, the shortest, absolutely shortest story in the book called Faux, F-A-U-X, not F-O-E, that I really liked. It was, especially for such a short story, it just really had a nice, crazy twist at the end. Um, a, a fun little short story. Uh, Camille smiled. This is going to be a big spoiler. Um, and I don't know any way around it without, I don't know any way around spoiling it. If I want to get across my feelings on this story. Uh, essentially Camille smiled is Pet Cemetery. Uh, but with voodoo instead of a pet cemetery. Uh, but it's really, if you take, what is it, the second half of Pet Cemetery? I'm not sure exactly how the book divides, um, but it's that. That's what this story is. Uh, it, it's well written, but it, I immediately just thought of Pet Cemetery and continued to the entire time I read the story. Um, and then I mentioned there are some sad, really tugging at the heartstrings kind of stories. Uh, she Found Spring, which is the first story in the book, uh, is like that. Very emotional. Uh, 
an emotional ghost story. The Hole to China is really uh, kind of a sad story with um, just a, a young boy who has a bad home life and wants to literally dig a hole to China to get away from it. Um, and uh, I think that's it for the the titles that I wrote down. Now I feel like I need to look at the table of contents and see if there's anything else I should have mentioned. Um, some fun stories. Grandma Wanda's belly jelly was interesting. Uh, eardrum buzz. The tapping very much uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Um, sitting around a campfire kind of story. Uh, star on the beach. Meh. Um... Fish bait was fun. Green apples, red nails was pretty good. Um, as I mean, I could just read all the titles off to you and tell you what I thought of each story in a nutshell. Hey, there's that in a nutshell thing. Um, but essentially, it's it's like any, as I said, like any short story collection, it's a mixed bag. Really enjoyed some of the stories. I felt some of the stories fell kind of flat. Um, loved, 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 I love her. What I'm trying to say is I loved that story. Um, there is quite a bit of sex in a lot of these stories, uh, but not all of them. Uh, I guess, uh, Mr. Everson is making a name for himself as an erotic horror writer. Um, a writer of erotic horror. I don't want to imply that he himself is erotic. I don't know. Um, he may be. I, I don't know. I was going to say I've never met the guy, but I actually have met him. Um, nice guy. But, uh, um, so, my rating for this is three and a half out of five pumpkins. Um, Simply because it's really tough, I think, for every story in a collection. Whether it's it's a collection of stories from the same author or an anthology that's that has a theme and a bunch of different authors. It's really tough for every single story to just blow you away. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying it's tough, at least for me. Uh... Not every story is going to be for everyone. So, um, I, I wasn't blown away by this collection. Which is why it gets three and a half out of five. Um, some really great stuff. Some stuff that didn't work for me. Uh, and so, I mean, I, I, he does, for, for short stories, the, the, the characters for the most part, are pretty well developed. Most of the stories flow pretty smoothly. Um, the um, I did have a problem with, what is it, Star on the Beach, um, and maybe it's just something that would bug me. But the, the opening scene has the main character finding this shell star thing, and he's going to just throw it into the ocean and this kid stops him and then we go back to when he met this kid and it seems to me I mean maybe I'm reading this completely wrong but it seems to me we get a rehash of that first scene except it's completely different that first scene seemed to be the point where this the main character found this shell star thing. He's going to get rid of it. The kid stops him. And then we go back to, we know for a fact this is when he found it. But again, it's it's just a completely different scene. And it's not like he just didn't retell what we've already been told. The whole scene is different. The interaction is completely different. So again, maybe I'm wrong and this happened twice. But... It, that's the kind of I, maybe I'm too picky. That's the kind of thing that bugs me, when when 
elements of the story don't actually mesh. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons this isn't a higher rating, just little things like that. For the most part, well-written stories, good characters, interesting. Um, quite a few things with bugs, which are always fun. I love bugs and horror stories. Um, I I do recommend it if if you like. Sh I know a lot of people don't like short stories, um, but but these are overall a decent batch of short stories. And you've got you have to read. I love her. That oh I don't know why that story is just so fantastic to me. Maybe it says something about me. Um, but I loved it. I I loved it. I loved I love her. Um, and you know the eyes. Again, and Sacrificing Virgins, fun, gross-out stories. Uh, I'm repeating myself now, so I guess it's time to end this review. Uh, I will have links for the book in the description below, as always. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. So if you want to know what the deal is with I Love Her, just ask me in the comments and I'll uh, I'll post a big old spoiler warning and then I'll tell you and then you can tell me I'm crazy for liking the story so much um, uh, so please like share and subscribe uh, and that's it for my review of Sacrificing Virgins this has been the Low Budget Review Show I have been Eric Smith and until next time read more books <laughs>